going to show you how Daniel and I, because I prep for him, um, how do you prep in med school? How do you have time? Well, guess what? You make time for the things you care about. Today is Sunday and we use today as our designated prep day and the cool thing is I have things that I've done that have already hit, helped me and made this process easier. So for example, crock pot, I really recommend it if you're in your med school because you just throw all the ingredients in there, let it sit, you don't even have to be in the house and it cooks slowly and then voila, your food is done. So I had already did that yesterday. Um, I put two chicken breasts, season it with some garlic, um, a little bit of basil, oregano, with some soy sauce, let it simmer, and it was actually done before we went to, to church today. So, you know, we buy that GMO. Man, look at all that. Tell them where we shop, though, first. All right, so we so shop they can see at that. Sam's Club because it really saves us a lot of money because we would end up going to the grocery store twice a week and spending, a, like, a lot of money on a little bit. So, got a Sam's Club card. I'm able to buy in bulk. So, as you can see, we got our egg whites stacked up here, our organic whole eggs. And then if you see this row of almond milks we got going on back here. So, oh, and of course, how can we ferment? That's okay. a good, that's Potatoes, a good med school. Okios. That's a good med school, like classic study, study snack. Okios, and we got him protein bars and protein. All right, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you really fast what I already cooked. This was the um, chicken that was in the crock pot overnight. So, looks delicious. This is probably gonna be sufficient for about three meals. Guess what? We don't have our sweet potatoes done and we don't have the rest of the protein done. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna eat some fish. Um, we try to vary our protein. We have fish here, this is flounder, we have tuna. We have turkey, chicken, and ground beef. Um, we already have the chicken done, so we're gonna make tuna. I love this. Tuna's really good because it's just, it's not like a heavy food, and when you're studying a lot in med school, you don't want to like, the last thing you want to do, <laughs> the last thing you want to do is like, stuff your face like in between study breaks or like, before you go to class for lunch. If you have class at one o'clock, first year of medical school, you have class in the afternoon most of the times, and to stuff your face before you go into lecture, man, all the blood rushes to your, your intestines, your stuff, it just... My brain basically gets dumb after I eat a big old meal with like heavy, like heavy stuff. So I like to have like light stuff, uh, especially when I'm studying a lot. So chicken breast is not that light, but it still is. So these tunas, these fishes, are, I mean, they're like golden. I mean, you got your protein in there, you got some good fats and everything. So that is what I love to eat for protein. Um, so uh, we got other stuff too for protein, like she mentioned. Uh, but yeah, you know, when you're studying, especially now, I'm studying for my boards. And so, when you're studying for your boards, you want to be all there. All your mind wants to be there. And so, I do little snacks like the yogurt. Uh, I do these protein bars uh, that that Jessica bought, and she is being very loud right now, but it's okay. So these protein bars are just protein bars, you know. So that's what we do. What we decided to do is get some ground turkey. We bought both of these at Sam's Club, really cheap. This is ground turkey right here, 93 lean. And so I like mixing this lean with um, with ground beef. And so by doing that, by doing that, it basically makes it more leaner. This is this is like 90, 90 or 93% lean as well. But obviously meat's not as, red meat's not as lean as turkey. So what we'll do is we'll mix those together. And so when we mix these together, we'll basically make some, some meatballs, right babe? Yeah, it's really easy. Fast and it tastes nutritious. so good. So what we're doing right now is we're gonna go ahead and prep the sweet potatoes. Um, we try to vary our carbs, okay? I do get it, yeah, white rice is not the healthiest. Um, but guess what? We like eating our food and enjoying it. So we do white rice instead of brown. Um, and sweet potatoes, okay? So we had white rice all last week, and this week we're gonna have sweet potatoes. So what we do is we essentially grab the sweet potatoes, which the thing that I like about Sam's Club is that I'm sure Costco has this as well, but they have organic products for the low. 
So these are organic sweet potatoes, and look how beautiful these are, guys. Man, I promise you they injected some steroids in these. These are huge. There ain't no way these are organic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, let the meat defrost in the sink. Um, babe, you forgot to put this in there. So we have fish. I'm always we have messing up. Beef. This probably will take about 15 to 20 minutes to defrost. That's totally fine because we'll be done with the sweet potatoes at the same time, or while this is done. Cool. So let's do it. If you guys didn't know, we had a competition at church for the best soup. I made chili and I won. So they gave me this beautiful apron and she I don't won. have an apron. So this is awesome. So he has to wear it when he's in the kitchen. She's bad. But guess what? It's going to be a good kitchen, uh, cooking time because I am now the number one chef in the house. You know what I'm saying? So basically all I do is I leave some skin. So. These taste like golden nuggets of heaven, guys. I mean, I don't know if I don't know if there's heaven in food or just Jesus provides, you know, your fullness. But the Bible doesn't say. At least I don't think it says. So I leave some skin right there, a little bit of skin, and then what you'll do is let me just do one so you guys can see. I'll get these, and the key here, this is the key. So you want to basically put some holes in the center, and that's when they start tasting good because they start to goose out. Okay. So, after I do this, what I'll do, I'll get this, right? I'll wash it real quick. Right? I get some olive oil. I put a little bit of olive oil, right? And so, I get my hand. It's kind of a little messy, but it's okay. I rub the, rub the sweet potato with olive oil. And let me tell you, that right there, about 425 on the oven for about an hour it starts goozing out on the bottom black stuff and that's like the natural sugar in the sweet potato it tastes so good we usually put cinnamon or i actually got this at the fresh market where is it it's like pumpkin spice oh sorry trader joe's pumpkin pie spice we can put this on top of the sweet potatoes and it tastes delicious i'm sorry And then, it's not like a set time, it's just I know when they're ready because I can stick a fork in them and they're soft and the black ooze on the bottom. So good, so yummy, yummy. We have the Olympics on, the Winter Olympics because, you know, perfect right, guys, day for it. So you know how I said we like white rice better? Well, guess what, we ran out. So we have a lot of brown rice though. So we're going to use this long gra grain brown rice. And we don't put anything in our rice as far as flavor. It's literally just water and the rice grain. How many cups am I going to make? Well, this is for two people. So, one fourth cup makes about 50 grams. Probably going to make three cups of rice. So, let's do it. Prepping. Daniel's hungry, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this barbecue chicken that I sauteed yesterday. Or not sauteed, but I marinated. This is what I'm talking about by these GMO, by these GMO breasts. Mm. That is one breast. No way. Yes, way. What? So we're gonna go ahead and make some of this. We'll eat some now. How does it even? Later. That doesn't even make sense. And babe, what are you gonna what are we gonna eat it with? Just to give you guys a look how big that thing is. Jeez. So I'll add a little bit of oil olive oil on the pan. That thing's as big as the pan. No olive oil, you don't need olive oil because that's all, all that that has a lot of stuff on it already. Are you sure? Well how about the spray? A little bit. So yeah. it doesn't stick. We're gonna make our famous meatballs. So I kind of just threw some ingredients together. Daniel really liked it, so that's what we're gonna use for the meatball seasoning. So here we go. First is gonna be some spicy brown mustard. Now, this is a lot of meat. So, so we have um, turkey and beef, remember that. Red beef and So I'm turkey. obviously gonna have to use a lot more seasoning than normal. There we go. 
That stuff tasted so good. Here we go. This is um, coconut aminos. You can get this at usually, um, I don't know if they sell it at Publix. I don't even think they have it at Walmart, but we got it at um, this fresh market. There we go. Should be good. Now we're going to go ahead and put in some garlic powder. Babe, you're going to need some Tic Tacs. Alright guys, and then the last is Montana steak. And it's this not has steak. salt in it and pepper. So a little more, babe, a little more, because we got a lot of meat going on. Alright, cool. And I'll do the honors. Miss two ingredients that we put in the uh, meatball seasoning ingredients, which is an egg and this bread crumb Italian seasoning. At the meat, I just kind of like ball up like that. It's so simple. It doesn't take rocket science. The, the reason I like meatballs, like I don't make spaghettis out of this. Like I just, they're just. Convenient. They just taste so good. <laughs> They're convenient, you know. Um, you mix them with anything, and they taste so good. If you want to make spaghetti, like in the week, you want to make some pasta, then you just make spaghetti real quick. All right, guys, the sweet potatoes are done, and this is how you can tell. You put a fork in it, and look how soft it is, and it just slides right out. So these babies are done, and so we'll have some a sweet potato with some barbecue chicken That's for sweet. dinner. That's sweet. And then it is 5.54, so this is obviously an early dinner. So for night, we'll probably have a protein shake. We try to eat four to five meals a day, um, but I only pack Daniel two whole meals and then a protein bar, a uh, yogurt, which has 17 grams of protein. And that's pretty much all he has to take with him at school. And then he eats breakfast here and he eats dinner here. So basically he eats about five meals a day. Five, five, five six meals, meals a day. Yeah. So we are gonna take the sweet potatoes out, put them on top of the stove, and oh, then go ahead and put the meatballs in at 350 for first? about 25 minutes. You see how oh. that's like right there? Perfect. Yes, perfect. A little bit of olive oil on each filet. This is probably going to go in at 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. Just keep an eye. They're very, very thin, so they'll cook a lot faster. Um, and oh my then, gosh, that's a lot of olive oil. Sorry. I'm going to put a little bit of breadcrumbs. You know, just... Breadcrumbs are what saves lives. Jesus is what saves souls. You like that? Um, not really, but it's all good. And then we're going to go ahead and go in with the Himalayan salt. And then why not, right? Because we're going to do like three times a week. Some Parmesan cheese. All right, cool. Put it in the oven. Chicken. Sweet potatoes. Full. <laughs> You can switch them around. Switch this around. Last, last, oh guys, brown rice, done. Beautiful. Last, last, last thing, Let's cook the two tunas, and then we're gonna tell you guys about our bagged vegetables, but this has like carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, and we try to have, and green beans. We try to have vegetables all the time. And then last thing, baby, forgot. We gotta cook her. That's not nice. Tuna. It's a tuna. And you know what guys, for breakfast, Daniel usually has a protein shake which consists of protein powder, peanut butter, ugh, I shouldn't have left that in there. Oatmeal and almond milk. Um, or I'll make him these organic bagels that we got um, with some eggs and one egg yolk. They ain't nothing better than making fish taste like steak. <laughs> Montana steak, baby. All right, cool. So that concludes how we prep. Sign out. Signing out. Sign side note. Oh, side note. So this was two hours long. 
But let me tell you something. It's so rewarding. So that's what I do. That's how I prep in med school. And honestly, it might be so time consuming because this took us about two hours. But let me tell you, when you're in medical school, you don't have time to go, I mean you do, to go to like Chipotle or like Chick-fil-A and get a meal. A lot of people do it, but let me tell you, if you want to be efficient, and if you have a husband, a wife like I do, if you have someone that you love that you want to spend time with, if you have a dog, if you have a life other than medicine, which I definitely do, then you want to be efficient. And to be as efficient as possible, pack your meals. Every meal. And you save money. And you save money. And if you're about that bodybuilding life, you're going to make some gains. There ain't no so, gains here, but I got to work out. Oh, last, but. last side note before we conclude the video. Daniel's macros are obviously different than mine. So he's going to have a lot more carbs, a lot more protein. Up, girl. Let me feel like, a, there we go, there we go. So Just explain really fast what your macros are. This is practically one meal for me. Uh, some sweet potatoes, some chicken, and then it. I'll put some veggies in there. Um... Uh, but yeah, this is this is actually a pretty big meal as far as like for studying because I like to have like three of these, take them to school, and then I'll eat them every like two and a half hours, three hours. Um, so yeah, this is what we do, and this is how we've been doing it for a long time, and it is amazing. So any closing remarks, my love? Jesus loves you. Yes, he does, for the Bible tells us so. How does it go? Bow your arms. Jesus loves me, yes I know, for the Bible tells me so. Uh, Alright, we love you. We're going to go hang out and enjoy our Sunday. Peace!